If you love ShadCN, these three libraries are for you. First one is the ShadCN form builder. If you are creating some big forms, this one is going to speed you up a lot. And the best feature in this library is the playground. So we click here and we can create our own form and we can get full code for that form. So for example, we pick here input. So here we are getting username and we already have a submit button and we have a full form for this one. Then we can click, for example, password. Then here we are getting the password together with that username. We can then choose date picker to choose a date of birth. And we can pick whatever we like, some kind of switch or anything that we need. And in the end, when we click here on code, we are getting the entire component for this form written in ShadCN for our application. Everything is editable, so you can here change whatever you want. Instead of username, you can put whatever you like. And those changes are going to apply to this code here, so you can just copy and paste everything inside of your application. We are basically getting this entire component here working fully with validation, with on submit and everything. We can just put in our server action and everything is going to work. And recently my man here added also the templates so you don't have to even build with his playground form builder. Here we have login, register, forgot password and everything that is most often used inside of applications. And there are also a couple of components like autocomplete location input where you have like all the countries and this signature input, which is working really nicely. So you can try that one out also. I really love this second library and you can see they have almost the same logo as ShedCN and they're called motion primitives. They are focused on animations and they have some really nice looking components. And we can see here that they have a bunch of components or core, core components, text effects, number effects, interactive elements, toolbars, and advanced effects. The one I really like and which I used is this glow effect. And this is maybe too much, this glow effect here, but check out this button. It's looking really nice and modern and it's really good to use on modern website these days. And we can see here also the glow effect card mode. When we click submit, we're getting this glow card effect. It's looking really awesome. And adding this one is exactly the same like ShedCN. So you can just use NPX ShedCN add and you add this one and this component is added to your application. Then we have here this text shimmer wave, which is really good for some kind of loading. When you need some loading text, I place this one on my textual games project. It's looking really nice. There is also this image comparison, like when you're moving with your mouse, it's comparing the image from left to right. It's looking really nice. Also this tilt. And as you can see, all these components, they're pretty like subtle animations. It's not something too big that you cannot put on your normal website. Everything is created for these new minimalistic, modern looking websites. And you can just go to motion primitives and play with it. I found this library to be really good. And the third library, like the name says, they're called ShedCN UI expansions and they're more components built on top of ShedCN UI. They're not a big library, but they have some pretty useful components. And the one that I use the most is this multiple selector. So check this one out. We have a select box. And when we choose here some framework, we are getting a badge inside the input and we can see what are we choosing. And this is something that ShedCN doesn't have and it's really working nice. I tried this one out inside the form also, and it's working just like it's from ShedCN. You can add it in the same way. So here you're adding ShedCN components and then you just copy and paste this component inside of your code base and everything should work. There is also a usage instruction here. So we have various options for this component to be disabled, disable first, item selected, controlled, hide, clear all button, etc. Then this date time picker component is really nice. I don't know why ShedCN is not creating the time picker component yet, but this one is looking really nice. So here we can choose our date, then we can pick the time we want and 
that one is going directly as you can see here to our date format which is really nice and also one more component i want to show you is this floating label input from some reason clients love this ant design floating label so here you have that component which you can just copy and paste inside of your project and it's going to work same like in ant design and i hope you enjoyed in this video go give all these guys a star you have all the links in the description below and for more content like this join the mighty horde subscribe